Earlier this year, Google launched a new security feature for Android called Remote Lock. When enabled, it allows you to visit the website android.com slash lock, enter a phone number into this field, and then it will immediately lock your smartphone. This was introduced as a way for you to lock your device and protect all of the sensitive data that's stored on it just in case you ever have your smartphone stolen from you while you're actively using it. But you can see just how easy it is to abuse a simple feature like this, since you only need someone's phone number and for them to have this feature enabled to allow you to troll them whenever you'd like by locking their phone remotely. Thankfully, Google has finally added in a new optional security question feature to Android's remote lock security protections. So let me show you how easy it is to add a protection layer to your remote lock feature on Android. Because there are so many OEMs out there who rename the menus on their Android device, the quickest way to check and see if you have the remote lock feature available to you and your device is to open up the settings application and then search for the word remote up at the top or even search for the word remote lock up at the top. If it's available to you, then you'll see it as a search result up there. Now you could also search for theft protection as well. Since that's another sub menu that you see some OEMs using with this feature. Now, again, if your device is eligible for it, you'll be able to select it from that list and it'll take you to a page like this. So the first thing that you will need to do is make sure that you have the remote lock feature enabled and that it's toggled over to the right. Then you can scroll down a little bit and under where it asks for your phone number, you should see a new option labeled security question telling you that it is optional. We can tap on that, verify that it's us, and then we'll be able to select from a predefined list of questions. Then below that question, you can enter in your answer to that security question. After that's done, Google says it may take a few minutes before the security layer can be added to your device. But if you've been having an issue with someone abusing this feature lately, then this option should finally solve it. I honestly don't understand why Google did not launch the remote lock feature for Android with this as an option. It seemed very clear from the start how easy it was for someone to abuse a system like this. But at least there's a way to avoid that now. If you would, please share this video with everyone that you know who owns an Android device so they are made aware of this new change. And don't forget to give this video a like, click on that new hype button that YouTube has been advertising lately, and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't done so already.